Bye bye. Jeff Sessions just took decisive action that has illegals freaking out. Alex Pfeiffer, for the Daily Caller reports, the Justice Department announced Thursday the expansion of a program designed to deport imprisoned immigrants. The Institutional Hearing Program, otherwise known as IHP, uses in-person and video conference hearings in order to, for judges to determine whether an immigrant, regardless of legal status, should be deported after they have served their sentence. Bureau of Prison Statistics show that a little over 20% of federal inmates are non-citizens. We owe it to the American people to ensure that illegal aliens who have been convicted of crimes and are serving time in our federal prisons are expeditiously removed from our country as the law requires, Attorney General Sessions said in a statement. The expansion and modernization of the institutional hearing program gives us the tools to continue making Americans safe again in their communities. A recent analysis by Syracuse University's Transactional Records Access Clearinghouse showed that deportations from IHP have dropped dramatically since the late 1990s. This expansion and the modernization of IHP will be done by increasing the amount that prisons use the program, increasing those facilities' video conferencing abilities, and updating the DOJ's and ICE's intake policy. If you like what we're doing here, folks, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. Also, be sure to leave your comments in the comments section in order to make sure that you're getting updates, hopefully you've subscribed to the channel. There will be also links located in the description section of this video. Please be sure to share on social media. I am Mike DePinto, host of Right Wing News, filling in today for Gary Franchi. Badass shirt now available. Link in the description. You possess the power to impact the global narrative. Please share this report. And to get more videos like this, become an X News subscriber by clicking the link below. Thank you for watching, The Next News Network.